Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario related to scale. Let's understand the requirement of the scenario. So we need to create reminder task on open opportunities. So basically, if you want to figure out like uh, what all open opportunities available. So we have a stage field on opportunity. If it is not equals to closed one or closed lost, it means your opportunity is open. And if it is open, then we need to create a task record related to that opportunity. Right? So after task creation, like if we create a schedule trigger flow on daily basis, so what will happen? Like, if the opportunities which are available today and they are open, so we we need to create a related task on those so that those will be created. Now, next day when flow will be executing again. So we need to make sure like the previous day opportunities for them, like we already created a task. So next day we don't pick or fetch those opportunities. So to maintain that thing, First of all, I'm going to jump to object manager, searching for opportunity object. And here I'm going to create a field. This field will be of type checkbox. So it will track whether a task is created on opportunity or not. So its label is task created. So if it is false, it means if opportunity is open and this checkbox is false, it means we need to create a task record. But if this field is checked and opportunity is open, then we don't need to create a task record. So I'm not placing it on any page layout because we don't want to show it on the UI. So the field is created. Now it's time to create the flow. So I'm going to create new flow and uh, this flow will be of type scheduled triggered flow. So I selected uh, create. Now here I need to set the start date and time and the frequency. So right now I'm just uh, setting the frequency. Okay, uh, these are required. So uh, I'm just uh, picking random values here. So I just need to figure out like what is the current org date and time so that uh, accordingly I can schedule and I can uh, demo it like whether records are created or not. And here we need to select the object. And here uh, we can specify the conditions like, so stays name does not equals closed one. Stays name does not equals close lost and task created equals false. And I just need to modify the logic. So one or two. Uh, no, actually it should be and. So if stays is not equals to close one, stays is not equals to close lost and uh, task created checkbox is false. If all three conditions are matching, then only our task will be created on the opportunity. So now I just need to have this element that is create records. So we need to create task record Okay, so here I'm going to search task fields. And if I go here to the task, so I just want to see like 
how uh, we can relate. So we uh, relate it to particular record with related to field. So here I'm going to check the API name of related to, it is what ID. So in what ID, I just need to assign dollar record dot ID. Okay, then So if we create new tasks, so we need to check what all required fields are there. So we need to have assigned to status subject. So I am populating subject as reminder task. Then we have our status. So not started. Then we have assigned to ID. So for this, like we need to have a user ID. So I am just assigning opportunity owner ID. So the owner of opportunity will be the owner of the task as well. So assigned to is done, status is done, subject is done, related to is done. Then we have priority. So I am just adding this as well. Uh, normal. So this way, uh, this create record element is configured. Now after this, I just need to have one more element that is update record. So we need to update opportunities. So we need to update uh, the like dollar record variable because uh, all the records which will be queried through this scheduled trigger flow, they will be available in this dollar record variable. So on this, we just need to set it as true. Because if task is created, then we need to set it, set it uh, as true so that uh, next day when this flow will be working. So unnecessary uh, new task won't be created on the opportunities where we already created the task. So this way, this flow is configured. Now let's say I am creating this task. So that I can know the current date and time of the org. So here you can see it is uh, five, seven, 10, eight. So here I'm going to set it five and 10. 10 p.m. Clicking on done, save. And activate. Now, if I go here and search for scheduled jobs. So here you will find this scheduled task is scheduled and it will run on 10, 10. It was scheduled on 10, 8. Next schedule run is 10, 10. So after two minutes, it, it will be executed. So in the meantime, I'm going to opportunities. So all open opportunities, I'm selecting. Sorry, all opportunities, not open. And here you can see uh, we have this stage populated, right? So I will be checking uh, randomly opportunities like where uh, stage is prospecting or closed one or closed lost or any other. So on closed one and closed lost, you will see there will be no task, but on other opportunities, you will see a task record will be created. So here we just need to do a refresh. So still uh, like there is uh, one minute remaining. So within one minute, this scheduled task flow will be executed. Anytime like uh, in future, if you have scheduled your flow for a daily or weekly basis. So if you want, uh, if you don't want to run that flow and you want to uh, like delete that scheduled flow uh, record, not flow, the scheduled uh, job record. So here you can see we have a delete option. 
So if you click on this delete option, so this entry will be deleted. So flow will be there in the org, but it won't run. Okay, so I am again refreshing the page. So this time you can see it executed. Now we need to check. So I'm just refreshing. So first of all, I'm opening this opportunity. And in under activity, you can see reminder task is created, right? If I open this, so here you can see values are populated. Okay, and you can see the date and time. It is current or date and time. Now, if I open any other opportunity, so let's say I'm opening this one, which is closed one. So here you can see we don't have any task created because it is already closed. Now, if I open this one, which is having ID decision makers as stays. So here also you can see a task record is created, right? So this way, uh, I think you can uh, identify uh, whether our flow is working fine or not. Now, if you want to see the value of that field, so what I'm going to do on, in all opportunities in the list view, I'm going to select that field task created so that we can see the value. So you can see wherever uh, stays is other than closed one or closed lost. So it is checked. It means like on next day when your flow will be running. So unnecessary new task won't be created because we applied entry criteria in the flow as uh, stays name does not equals to closed one stays name does not equals to closed lost and task created equals false. This checkbox is false, then only it will run. So right now for these opportunities, it is true. So next day, your uh, these opportunities won't be processed. So this is important in case of scheduled triggered flow. Like you need to keep a track on the records which are already processed. Now here, uh, you can see it is uh, scheduled for next day, right? So next day, same time, it will run again. If in your org, you have new opportunities created. So this way, I hope you understood how we can create task record under opportunities, open opportunities uh, with the help of scheduled record flow.